Some plunger lift candidates lack the sufficient amount of gas needed to run a plunger. Utilizing an outside source to inject gas into the annulus allows the operator to supplement the lifting ability of the plunger. During afterflow, the plunger rests in the lubricator at the top of the well. As production decreases, liquids begin to accumulate in the bottom of the tubing. The well begins to load. At this point, the well is shut in. The tubing valve closes, stopping the flow. The plunger drops out of the lubricator. As the plunger falls, gas is injected into the annulus, increasing the pressure and the eventual lifting capability of the plunger. The plunger falls down the tubing and passes through the slug to rest on the spring at the bottom of the well. As soon as the plunger reaches the well bottom, the tubing valve opens and the plunger begins its ascent. The gas injected into the annulus greatly increases the plunger's efficiency. The gas injection continues to aid in the plunger's journey to the top of the well. When the plunger arrives at the surface, the gas injection stops and the well is allowed to flow. The tubing string is free of liquids and high flow rate begins again. The cycle repeats. <laughs>